YouTube Moto Gaming here bring you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic and yes folks it's that time of week once again and today we are back with a new build so today I built a dive bomber this is the JU-87 or Stuka uh, it's a German ground attack aircraft this is probably one of my favorite World War II aircrafts. Uh, this thing's kind of notorious. Obviously, from the intro, you heard the uh, the loud war, the the siren as you uh, dive bomb here. Uh, that's one of the things it's famous for. And overall, this is just a really awesome ground attack airplane. So we're gonna be going over this here today. Now, this thing is fully destructible, so this is something that can be used in dogfights, even though it's not really a dogfighter. Uh, but you can still use it there, or you can use it in AA versus uh, aircraft, any situations like that. So we're going to go over all this here today. I've got a couple additional creations to check out. But yeah, if you guys have any additional builds you want to see here in Scrap Mechanic, comment below. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's go over this aircraft. Alright, so we have two aircraft here. They're the same aircraft, just different uh, colors. Now... There is a couple things that are wrong, and I can go ahead and point them right off the bat here with the Stuka. Uh, this is a, a little bit of an awkward aircraft to create, one, because of the wing angle that it has, and two, uh, there's actually the propeller is a, a bit of a problem. The propeller on a Stuka is only three blades, and of course we've got four here, uh, and that's just really a, a balancing thing. I mean, you can make it to where it's three blades, but you have to kind of use some controllers in uh, kind of manipulate things in some really strange manners. So I went ahead and just went with the four blade there. Now some of the other things that are wrong with it, let's go ahead and go around to the back. Uh, the back here, there should be some braces on the uh, the back and the wing design is a little different from the actual plane and that's really just due to the limitations of scrap mechanic and the available parts that we have. Now the creation itself, and let's pull out our uh, our tool here that way we can see the connections this is using once again the wing mod this mod is my new favorite mod in scrap mechanic this makes flying so much more satisfying to do and plus it actually does make it a bit easier now there is only two thrusters in this plane in total and they're up here in the front those will power you forward and they'll provide enough power for lift and then that's basically it uh, everything else is done through the wing mod so you can see the wing mod, I've attached some wings here. Now, the wing mod itself, I think that is about one of the only not destructible pieces that I have on. And I think I might swap them out. The back ones are destructible, but the wing ones, they're not. Now the wings themselves can be torn apart, and that's because of a, uh, a derf mod that he just recently released. And it's the, uh, the cardboard polygons pack, uh, which I'm using here. So let's go ahead and go over the other connections real quick. All right, so another thing that is a little bit different here on my Stuka compared to the real one, the real one's guns are up here. Uh, that would have to, uh, that would take a timing mechanism. That way the gunfire goes in between the blades. And I cannot figure that out for the life of me. Uh, maybe somebody like Khan can figure that out, but in order to have this blade spinning fast enough, uh, you can't shoot through it. It just doesn't look right. Uh, you could probably time it if the uh, the front propeller was slower, but eh, I'd rather have a fast propeller. So I do have the, the guns mounted on the sides here. Now, some cool features to the plane. Uh, yes, you can bomb stuff with this plane. Uh, it also has a tail gunner here, which is really pretty cool. Uh, you can set one of your buddies here in the back. This thing uh, has pretty good... Uh, Pretty good controls on it. You can go up and down, left and right. Uh, so yeah, you can go left, right, 
up, well, down's really pointless, but I have it there. Uh, that way, if you're up in the up angle, you can push it down. Uh, let's look at what this looks like from the first person. Uh, the targeting is right below the two pipe pieces there. Uh, do be careful, though, because you can, I believe, still hit your own aircraft. And if you do that, yeah, you're going to take the tail section off and you're not going to be able to turn anymore, which is kind of hilarious. But anyways, we can go ahead and hit this and boom. Actually, oh, got to hold it down. I thought this one was on a switch. So yeah, you can uh, actually fire back at enemy aircraft, which I think is actually a pretty cool feature. Now, I did have to skip a couple things with the glass. Uh, the glass, there used to be a polygon glass pack, and that's, I don't think it's destructible. I need to double check on that. Uh, but I went with just square glass here, and I didn't make it fold out. There's just these little holes here. You can hop in and hop out. So here's the cockpit. Uh, the one key is going to be the uh, the propeller in the front. Two keys going to be your forward thrust. And I have my keys custom mapped to make it where I can fly this a little bit easier. But the rest of those are flying keys. And the last couple switches here, uh, one is the guns, which like I said, they're mounted a little bit different than where they should be on the, uh, the real Stuka. And then... Your eight key is going to be your bomb. Now, the bomb is, uh, it doesn't explode. If we could eventually get that in Scrap Mechanic where it takes out, like, a cluster of blocks, that would be amazing. But the bomb, it's a, uh, it's a custom piece. It's a part of a, a gun mod, which is new here in Scrap Mechanic. And what it is, uh, basically, you click the button, it activates the spud here. Uh, it blows that piece off there and it drops the bomb. Now, I was experimenting with a magnet mod that just came out, and I was going to attach it like that, but for some reason, when I activated the magnet, the bomb tried to attach to it, and then it flew about a thousand feet in the air, and I was like, that's probably not stable enough, so let's just go ahead and go with the traditional method here. Uh, and back here you also see there's the, uh, the W, or the AD converter for the flying. So I think we're about ready to take this bad boy off and uh, do a little bombing run here. Uh, you see there's from the last episode the Red Baron, which I called it a biplane, it's really a triplane. Uh, there's another just uh, craft that I was using to test out the flying mod. And there's one by Lady Skelebro, which is a biplane, we'll check that out here in a minute. Uh, it's also fully destructible. All right, real quick before we take off, I just want to point out I did have the wrong version out. I didn't have the one with the little back wheel on it. Uh, it really does help in takeoff to have that back wheel. Uh, if not, the craft does bounce a bit on takeoff. So let's go ahead and hop into this thing here. I am ready to fly. So your controls are pretty, well, I would say they're pretty basic. Uh, your AD converter, that's going to be the tail there. Uh, we can go up, uh, and then you've got also some rolling here which the angles all vary in this uh, mod depending on the size of the aircraft. So I think I have the angles pretty correct, uh, but we'll see here. Let's go ahead. Oh boy, I'm a little bit nervous. Let's go ahead and take off here. There we go. And let's try to pull up, pull up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, we got some of that scrap mechanic bounce. Oh, yep. That's how well the Stuka flies. <laughs> uh, let's reset that. All right, here we are, take two. Uh, one last thing I should probably point out real quick. I don't know if anybody noticed the wing angles on this. I, I kind of mentioned it a little bit. Uh, the wings, they don't go flat uh, like a lot of aircraft. I kind of think this looks a little bit like the, uh, the Corsair. Uh, but yeah, that's one awkward thing to do in Scrap Mechanic, and that's why the... Uh, why, that's why it's just like I can't attach anything to it, and I can't paint anything else on it. Uh, but yeah... Uh, I think we did a pretty decent job with that. Let's go ahead, crank this back up. All right, and let's go ahead and start the lift here. There we go. All right, so occasionally you do get freak out on the wings, and it's just really a scrap mechanic interaction with bearings like that. Uh, there's not much we can do there. That just something that happens occasionally. You kind of have to deal with it. But anyways, as far as how it flies, it flies really good. I'm just really confused. Is our map not that big? Hold on, let's climb straight vertical here. All right, we'll fly upside down, actually. Oh, uh, we really need to be going the other way, because, yeah, this map's not that huge. Uh oh uh oh pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I didn't like that initial bounce off the wall. Hold on, let's get back up in the air. All right, let's roll a bit. There we go. All right, this is the way we can go. You know, it really seems like this custom map is smaller than the normal scrap mechanic map. Either that, or we're just hauling the mail here across it, which is very possible. But uh, overall, pretty easy to fly. Hold on, let's go up. It's easier to fly if you've got your camera in a strict follow, which we're about to do. Hold on, let's correct 
Let's get going here. Right now, we're going really fast, by the way. Uh, this is uh, one of the faster planes that I've built. But I figured, you know what? We gotta go all out here. All right, just having a nice, peaceful flight right now. Now, if anybody's wondering about the landing gear, uh, the Stuka landing gear does not go up in its body. Uh, it stays down. That's just the way they're built, uh, which I think it's pretty cool looking. So, uh, now if you're asking about the bombs and stuff, the, like I said, the bomb is gonna be the eight key, but the seven key will be your, uh, your cannons there, or I guess I should say guns. Uh, but yeah, those work pretty well. I just love this flying mod. Like, this is like one of the best things that's come out of Scrap Mechanic in a long time, which technically it's a mod, not a, uh, didn't come from the official developers. Hold on, let's go climb here. I haven't tried to stall this thing out. I'm pretty sure at some point it's gonna stop. Oh, about right there. You know, I think if I'm not, if I'm correct, I think a Stuka does a bombing, a uh, dive bomb like that. It'll do a backflip from what I've read. And then, yeah, I didn't have enough lift there to carry it, which I could add, you know, once I think about it, I really probably could add some more wing pieces and try to give it a little bit more uh, lift, or a little bit more roll like that. I, I don't know, that might be something we need to do to this. Uh, in order to get those backwards dive bombs because what I saw from the diagram they would go up and they'd come back over and then drop their uh, drop their bomb which is to me that's just absolutely insane all right so we're gonna put this one away we're gonna grab the uh, the green one here now, as far as paint schemes these came in just various paint schemes you had like the gray and yellow there was a straight up gray one you had the green camouflage I think there was a uh, one that was tan for the desert. Uh, now, one thing I also need to point out, which I don't think I've mentioned this. I did. I mentioned about the siren, which is a wailing siren called the uh, the Jericho trumpet, and yeah, that noise is just frightening. Now, if you're wondering where that would come from, it actually, uh, and I think it buried throughout the years, but there it is, right there. Which I mean, it probably doesn't look exactly right, but uh, that would be the little uh, the wailing sound. So, uh, let me go ahead and jump into this one. We're going to drop a bomb, and then we're going to tear one of these apart. All right. I don't have a target, and I'm not the best pilot, so I'm not going to say, hey, let's try to aim for something. But I just want to show you guys this thing in action. So, we're going to do a flip here, and then we're going to hit the, uh, ooh, here we go. Hit the eight key. It's going to go bloop, bloop. Oh, it shot up. Oh, yeah, that's one thing. Uh, Scrap Mechanic, the object's really light. So, yeah, we kind of beat the bomb down. It shot out the back. <laughs> oh, we might have to do that in slow-mo to show you guys where it went. <laughs> All right, so we are back in the air here. Now, I guess maybe we could have just released the bomb almost like a, a normal bomber would. But I wanted to try the dive bombing, but obviously you saw that the plane's faster than the bomb. So, what we're going to do, let's just line up here. Let me get the camera down real quick. And let's just go... Bloop! Oh! <laughs> You know, the impact force of that, uh, the spud gun, I think, actually launches it a bit. Hmm. I might have to experiment with the magnet. Uh, I would like to see a decoupler mod, where it just is a simple on and off and release. Uh, that would be cool. And we're flying straight vertical. Let's do a flip here. Alright, here we go down. Now, question is, will we have enough lift to go back up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good now. Sweet. Alright, look, we get to land right here. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're still gliding. Oh, no, we're going to run into the other one. Oh, okay. We just had a plane crash. I still wish there was impact physics in this game. Like, if you can actually impact and destroy uh, the other plane, that would be awesome. So, uh, you guys probably want to see this thing get torn apart real quick. So, we're just going to place you there. Uh, we're going to grab Scrapman's Spudling Gun because it's just easy and it's already there. So, let's grab that. Okay, so when I say this thing's destructible, I mean everything is destructible on it. It is using the uh, destructible parts. There's only, I would say, we'll call it 95% destructible. There is a couple pieces that don't uh, destroy, but for the most part, everything can disappear, including the seat. So, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, this is going to be good. Alright, here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, yes, Scrapman Spud Gun likes to crash the game. You know it's going to be wide open when we rejoin, right? All right, we're coming back into the game. I don't know what's going to happen. It might immediately crash again. I didn't think about his spudling gun being too fast. Uh, Scrap Mechanic does not like when you hit it a lot. Oh, oh, we're good. Oh, wait, what? Is it? 
Okay, it's been ripped into. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, ripped the front of it, a uh, piece of it off. Huh, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should go just a bit slower. Why can't I move this? Okay, there we go. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go a bit slower. We're gonna cut off one side of it. There we go. This will be a little, a little less aggressive now. There we go. Sorry, Scrap Man, I had to cut your creation a piece of it off. But anyways, let's go back at it here. There we go. Let's get first person here. Tear off that wing. Oh, it crashed again. Oh, the game is not liking that. Yeah, most likely if you're going to be doing dogfighting uh, or AA, you won't be hitting it that close and that fast. But this is still kind of one of the uh, side effects of using some of the mods and using the, uh, the beta branch right now. You know, we're going to go in and shoot it with the rifle. All right. Well, you can see the next bit of damage that we did, which we actually uh, blew a chunk of the wing off. Now, if you got a one real good shot in, you could literally knock a wing off of it real easy because uh, the polygon pack uh, blocks are big. So say if we go boop, 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 and cut through there, guess what? Boom, wings off. Uh, you can see, oh, it ripped into the cockpit too. Oh, that is awesome looking, so. Yep, you can get the glass broken off. Uh, you can basically cut this in half, so let's go ahead and work on that a bit. There we go. I don't know what happens if I hit the seat. It might let the gun go wide open. Uh, there we go. Cut that there. Oh, I love destruction physics and scrap mechanic. Uh, if only it ran just a little bit better, but that's what the bait is for. There we go. And boom. Is it? It's technically in half, is it not? Huh? Is it holding on by that? I, hold on, let's, uh, let's drop this. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, the plane's in half now. So, yeah, uh, you can officially just blow this plane in half. And that is... Wow, that is scary looking. Oh, boy. Yeah, as soon as this gets cleaned up a little bit, multiplayer dogfights are going to be awesome. So, uh, anyways, that's the Stuka. Got a couple of things that I still want to maybe work a little bit more on. Uh, but hopefully I'll have that available to you guys here relatively soon. Uh, one last thing we're going to look at real quick, uh, since we're kind of in war planes, and I know it's a different era, but uh, we have this uh, biplane here by Lady Skelebro, which you've probably heard that name before because uh, because he's created some awesome things. All right, what is going on here? I know maybe, actually, it's a destructible parts mod and then the wing mod. Oh, jeez. All right. So yeah, he's got a similar setup, which I think this is pretty much the way you have to do it with the wing mod. Double bearings on everything, uh, hook them into controllers, that way you can have two different angles. And yeah, everything goes up here to the front. Does he have a propeller? Wait. Oh, his propeller doesn't move, does it? Okay, I was gonna say, how did he get it in time with the propeller? <laughs> the only person that I know that I might be able to ask, maybe Newtonian or maybe Khan might know, but uh, let's get into this real quick. Now, I hope this is just like his spacecraft as far as flying. Okay, there's your angles with one. Okay, so that's your rolling. I'm, I think he had a custom keybind that you could set to this. It's left, right. Ooh, his angles are a lot more aggressive than mine were. All right, here we go. Uh, lift, 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 lift. Oh, this thing lifts really quick. Oh, that is insane. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. There's your gun. Oh, I did not expect a lift on this one. That caught me off guard. Yeah, mine lifts a little more gradually than that. All right, let's just go ahead and hop up. There we go. All right, there's your down. Okay, let's roll here. Whoa, this thing. I got to get used to this because this is a... Uh, this is different. This thing is a lot more aggressive than mine. That's impressive, actually. Uh, you know... I didn't actually get this on the triplane, the Red Baron. I was wanting to use the wing mod on that, but I couldn't quite figure out how to do it with the three, uh, the three wings there. But, oh, he's done a fantastic job. Hold on, let's hop back into this. Uh, let's get it back up. Okay, here we go. We're going to lift here. Yeah, it's takeoff. It just lifts really quick. So you can do that. You can roll. There we go. Up, down. All right, there's your left, right. Okay, there's your down, level it off here, we can turn. Ah, this is glorious, very, very nice. And uh, guess what, this one is destructible also, so this would be something you guys might want to check out and have a little dog fight. Ooh, that rolls so good! I like that a lot! Oh, on. Oh, this thing can do really fast flips. 
Yeah, it's just, if you go uh, more aggressive on the angle, it gets a little harder to fly, but of course you can accomplish stuff like this. Like, uh, the angle on my back compared to his, like, I think mine's only like 10 degrees. This is, uh, seems like it's much higher. And we'll come down to the ground, do a very terrible landing. Uh, let's confirm, this is destructible, right? Oh yeah, it is. That is sweet. Oh yeah. Cool stuff here. Oh boy, we have a mess here. But anyways, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for builds and scrap mechanic, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd like to do a build episode once a week. Uh, just get something that I can spend a couple hours on and put together, whether it be uh, maybe some more World War II airplanes. Uh, possibly do that. If you have any in mind, let me know. But yeah, uh, we'll be doing that. I do have another little special scrap mechanic thing coming up soon. Uh, if I can get it running, because we're coming up on another anniversary for scrap mechanics, so... I'd like to check something old out here very soon. But yeah, thank you guys for all your love and support on Scrap Mechanic. And I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you guys next time. Thank you.